It has been said many times, and it bears repeating, that the independence of the judiciary will remain a mere illusion, and what Indians call, wiro aho a whisper. As long as it is not secured by its own independent fund, and I apologize, Honorable Speaker, I will have to speak about funding. Uh, Manda Man Mandy did not warn me that she had given a secret undertaking to you. We need funding to undertake the various activities, programs, projects that are required for us to discharge duty. At the institutional level, I pledge to continue to pursue the operationalization of the judicial fund and to ensure systems and structures are in place for accountability. The national budget for the financial year 2021-2022 was only read yesterday. And of the 3.3 trillion planned, judiciary only got 17 billion. This has been the indicative budget amount for the judiciary for the first several years. And Mr. Speaker, you can see how dilapidated we are operating from this museum, which I've wondered why the Ministry of Health has not condemned it as unfit for human habitation. We have 20, 36 other court buildings that are almost complete but cannot be occupied because we have no money to complete those buildings. Kenyans travel an average of 175 kilometers to access justice. So, Mr. Speaker, I note that even though the judiciary is decentralized across the country and employs over 5,000 staff, it is half of what your parliament gets. And we have no issue with what you get, but we are saying if we have to tackle the backlog of cases, if we have to adopt technology to enhance efficiency across the courts, if we have to improve the infrastructure, because it is imperative also for the judiciary to serve the public with dignity, and taking justice closer to the people, increasing the speed of resolution of cases, and coordination of the justice across, we require funds allocated to the judiciary. The judiciary and the benefit of funding from the World Bank through what we call a judicial performance improvement project for the past five years. However, even though this funding was significant, judiciary's day-to-day -day work cannot depend on donor funding, and I'm most grateful to the donors who have come in aid to support us, especially in training. And therefore, we continue to call on Parliament and the National Treasury to fully fund the judiciary's budget. While I assumed office at the end of the budget cycle, I'm requesting that even before the media review of the national budget, the judiciary's budget should be fully funded, including activating the judiciary fund, because when we have our own fund, then we can be able to control it, and we can even be able to fundraise from other sources. <laughs> 